It is the largest artery in the human body, responsible for carrying and distributing oxygen-rich blood to almost every artery of all the limbs and organs except the lungs. The aorta is only about a foot long and just over an inch in diameter. But when disease of this hard-working artery occurs, the results can be devastating. Dr. Rodney White, Director of the Vascular Surgery Residency Program at Harbor UCLA Medical Center, explains. The aorta is the major blood vessel that carries blood from the heart and the chest, what we call thoracic or abdominal in the belly, to the remainder of the body. Most people are familiar with people that have died of aneurysms, that's a balloon which potentially can break, dissections where the artery splits or it can be injured in car accidents, traumatic transections, and all of these are lethal conditions. Treatment of these aortic conditions has traditionally involved surgical or open aortic repair. Approximately 50,000 surgeries of this kind are performed each year in the United States, and while they are often successful, the procedure comes with its own set of risks and complications. When we talk about repair of the aneurysm, the open option and many people are familiar with this, requires big incisions, long-term disability, and can be the only option or the best option, but that therapy has been very high morbidity mortality for many patients. Fortunately, minimally invasive techniques are making it safer and easier to treat aortic conditions. Known as endovascular surgical repair, this less invasive method does not require open surgery, but rather employs a stent graft inserted through a catheter to create a new path for blood flow. TAVAR refers to repairing the thoracic aorta using an endograft. It's made of cloth and stent. We deploy that at the catheter delivery where we have the device inside the catheter, feed it along the vessels and can deploy it accurately. It opens up and then conforms and over time heals, minimizing the invasiveness of the procedure. For many patients who have undergone endovascular aortic repair surgery, the results have been nothing but positive. I'm 90 years old and when I was uh, 81, I had a terrible car accident and he put a stent graft in the aorta, and it was a very successful operation, and I have had no problems whatsoever. I was treated for a thoracic aneurysm, and I had the surgery done. I recuperated for a week without pain, without discomfort, and after about a week's time, I was beginning to feel normal again. In 2003, I had a thoracic aortic dissection. They put in the, the stent. Then I went home after about a week. And it, it's just amazing. My quality of life since then is just, is just superb. Amazing experience. I feel like I'm really the luckiest person in the world to be around today. If you are male over the age of 65, have high blood pressure, smoke, consume two or more alcoholic beverages a day, or have a family history of aortic disease, you may be at risk and not even know it. Talk to your doctor about being screened and if endovascular stent grafting is a good option for you. Over time, endovascular therapy has developed very quickly and now is readily available for patients who meet the criterion usually being limited by the access vessels, how you deliver it, or in other cases uh, by medical conditions that prevail. In all cases, early screening is very important and remember to consult with your physician.